Hello and welcome to Let's Try. We're trying Necro Bouncer. Um, this was flew into my my email. Um, it's just a demo, but I'm I'm interested to see it. It it looks actually pretty cool. I hadn't heard anything about this, so I was, I was kind of surprised when I looked at it. I was like, hey, this actually looks like really good. How come I have heard nothing about this? You wake up a bit shaky. Where am I? What happened? This place looks strangely familiar, like I've been here before. Uh, an elevator? Maybe I should check upstairs. Uh, click? Click, click, click. Alright. Why can't I remember anything? My head feels like it's going to explode. Been uh, drinking the green juice, you know? Hello and welcome to the club. We are closed right now, but you are more than welcome to come back in half an hour. Wait a minute. You look like you're tough. I am actually looking for a bouncer. The last one, let's just say, couldn't continue working or walking. It's a great gig though. You just have to go around the club and get rid of un unwanted guests. You up for it? Great. Just go down to the locker room and get ready for your first day. I'll be here if you need me. All right. So, I mean, I was pretty taken by uh, by the you know cute sprite work, but this game looks like very high octane for for what it is. Looks very influenced by uh, Enter the Gungeon specifically. You can see maybe even just with some of the sprite work, it has a bit of a Gungeon f vibe. We do be dodge rolling over uh, lava and through fireballs. All right. I don't think you travel any faster, so there's no point in doing that. So now we we, we are attacking um, little crystals. I don't think I get anything for doing that, so I'll just continue moving here. All right. So what is this? Oh, we got a we have a ranged attack. Oh, except I unfortunately it has a bit of a a knock forward effect. So you don't want to necessarily do it too much because you could find yourself. Uh, thrown into some lava <laughs> day one all right performance star is not available in demo but there's kill 100 enemies kill 600 enemies uh great for every occasion business casual all right we have our classic uh just like tree here i, I do wonder if there are other ways of doing this, it seems like every roguelite these days that comes out has this like tree where we, we make decisions on, on it, but um, you know, just kill all of them. Okay. Try using an ability. All right, I will do that. So I think we summoned some zombies or something. All right, we, we killed all of them, and now we are going downstairs. That was, the, that was the whole floor. I was expecting like a dungeon layout, but it really is just kind of an arena. Destroy, destroy enemy respawn crystals. When the timer reaches zero, all crystals spawn enemies. All right. Or, Oh, there's traps on the ground. I didn't even notice that. So I managed to destroy all but one of them. So that's that was pretty easy peasy. We're coming up to our first choice after this. Bounce. What is that? Is that a, like an exploding barrel? Spawn some zombies. I will say, um, as, a, as a point of criticism, I think the music could use a little bit of, or the, even just the sound effects, the sound in, in, gen, in general, seal, um, it sounds pretty muddy. I feel like it could have another pass through the, the old mixer, as if I have any understanding of how any of that works. We took a lot of damage there, by the way. Uh, fully heal, losing health refreshes your cooldowns. 70% more props spawn in rooms. I don't know why I would want that, but fully heal sounds pretty good right now. So we have pillars there or unknown. Let's take pillars. I, that is also an unknown. 
seal the portals, hit and move the pillars in their per perspective slots or respective slots. Enemies spawn from open slots every time the time. Okay, so we gotta, we have some stuff to do here, all right? So we gotta hit these, the correct pillar on the correct slot. And if we don't do it good enough, then we're gonna have to fight some enemies. Makes sense to me. And again, I got rid of everything except one. I'm trying to use these that ranged ability, but it it seems pretty not pretty lackluster. Okay, so we got we killed everything. We just gotta get this last pillar on the slide. Ah, there's a trap on the ground. So we took we took some damage there. Didn't really need to, but I did anyway. Destroy. Let's use our ability and maybe our zombie compatriots here can help us destroy. No, actually they've decided they've opted instead to just vibe. All right, that's pretty good. I, I keep like getting hit by those traps. All right, hit the crystals. I don't know if we're doing well or not. I mean, I'm taking damage occasionally, but that's okay. Increase the size of zombie explosions. Zombies explode even if they are killed. All right, yeah, that sounds pretty good. Zombies explode even... I didn't know that zombies exploded, to be honest. So we have a relic hunt. We have a reward hard room uh, with crystals. Um, or we have statues. Let's uh, let's try relic hunt. Let's let's see if that is good. All right. So we've got like a gauntlet style room. Pretty okay so far. Was was that it? Oh, that was it. Okay. Quantum battery. Ranged attacks have a 25% chance to not use up any energy. Eh. I don't know. Sure. Oh second floor there's more relics to be gained actually oh this is slightly more challenging it actually kind of woke me up i was i was like kind of like kind of dozing a little bit there it's like nope now now it's real the threat is real magnetic axe whenever you one shot an enemy spawn five gold <clears throat> okay so we can continue this we'll probably die if this gets much harder Oh. Eh, not too bad still. All right. Still still not too bad. We could keep doing this. Blade mail. Damage nearby enemies every 3 seconds. Let's let's try one more. Let's get real risky with it, you know? Oh yes. You know, this, this looks really severe, actually. Oh, there's our damage. We only get one. I don't know. I don't know, buddy. I don't know, buddy. All right. Um. No. There was a, there was a window there and I didn't see it. Well, I, I took... I like honestly I like the fact that you can go as as much as you want as hard as you want on the relic rooms cuz you could just like keep if you mastered those you could get as many relics as you want. Um sure, let's let's go again. Oh, look at this. This is a different tree. So we have pillars. We got to deal with the pillars. I wonder if I, can I use it? Yeah, you can use uh your ranged attack to smack them. Oh, I almost made it. All right, that's fine. Should I should use my ability more often. So we have a uh, bounce. All right, let's just do a normal bounce. I don't know what the uh, items on the, uh, like the, the objects on the ground and the layout. I don't know what that really does for us, if anything. 
combat's pretty solid. It's got a good flow to it. There was a potion there that I did not pick up, actually. Oh, I wanted to do a relic hunt. I guess there is a relic hunt coming up, so never mind. We're out of juice, so I can't, I can no longer do the juice. What is this guy? Is he gonna drop some money if I beat him up? Yeah. Yeah, he did. That's exactly what he do. All right, let's use our ability. Oh, never mind. I don't have enough juice. You need juice to do the ability. Okay, there's some juice. But we still need to uh, break these crystals. So things, things get pretty dire. If you don't break those crystals, they get dire. We're taking damage. I feel like that did not hit me, but I'll accept it. We need that health. Oh, oh I lost it immediately. Okay, cool. Cool. This is this is getting really dire. This is the second like room. Oh, that was it. That was it. Took a lot of damage there. I feel like uh, the game is very unforgiving on the iframes. Babushka, we got a uh, we got a babushka and a regulator. I assume these are uh, relics that are likely to turn up and not just like things that we get on new runs. That is a uh, my preferred form of meta progression, and I, I appreciate that they've they've opted for that route. Um, all right, let's try again. La last last try. All right. All right, all right, this is uh, not gonna happen. Those traps are, are, they're there, is all I'm saying. Uh. Okay, get, get it on there, get it on there. Good, nice. Okay, more pillars or crystals? I uh, will do the crystals. I, if I hadn't, like, taken extra time to kill that leprechaun-looking dude, then, um, I would have been fine, but if you let too many- let the- let the room fill up too much, then it can get- it can get really nasty. Also, a little- little touch I appreciate is you can, like, control the direction of your dodge halfway through the dodge. It's a little- little thing I kind of wish that, um, you know, even Enter the Gungeon had done. I, I really appreciate that level of control. Let's, uh, let's do... I don't like, actually, that the ability stops you dead like that. Kinda wish it, uh, you could move around while you're doing it. Maybe other abilities, like, don't do that. So maybe it's an actual flaw of the ability. This is a, this is a pretty, pretty good, simple little, little roguelite so far. Whenever a ranged attack kills an enemy, there's a 35% chance to gain one energy. Abilities have a 50% chance to poison minions. Increase max energy by 10. No, I like this poison, poisoning minions idea. I don't know what that means, but hey. Does it mean that the minions I spawn are poisonous? Kill enemies to charge the statue. When charged, it will kill all of the remaining enemies. Is this just not, like, kill all the enemies with extra steps? So, like, very consistently I take damage when I'm using my abilities because of that, like, moment of stopping. So I'm not sure if it's worth it. Um, yeah, let's do a relic run. Is this, is this a relic run? I don't think it is. We don't have enough juice to do our ability. All right. We got a little bit of health back, that's nice. Oh, I guess this is just a hard floor. So they'll give me a relic maybe when I finish it.
More. Still more. Ow. All right. Do we do we get a relic? We do get a relic. You sp spawn zombies when it, wherever you get hit. I never like that mechanic. Melee attacks have a five percent chance to corrupt enemies. Sure. I don't know why every single roguelite has to have like whenever you take damage or whenever you're at low health, this thing happens because it's never interesting to me. I don't know. I guess like some people like that build. Destroying energy creates increases your max energy. Increase max HP and current HP by one. Enemies have a 50% chance to explode on death. Sure. Um, all right. Oh, this is, this will possibly heal us if we do well. Why is that guy's health purple? Oh, is, is it because I corrupted him? I think it's going well. No, never mind. They're all zombie. Ow! Whoa, 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 what? Um... Okay, that, that, that feels like a cheap shot. I was not expecting the zombies to kill me or do damage to me because the historically the zombies have been on my side. I'm not sure about that one. Sad clown. Yeah, that's that's me right now. So we have killed 100 en enemies. That's our performance star. Great for everyday occasion. Um, I haven't unlocked anything else yet, so... Oh! Spend your performance stars for for starting relics. Oh, there it is. That's a that's an unfortunate uh, discovery for me. Props have 50% chance to have another prop inside. After getting hit, you deal triple damage for four seconds. Get 60 gold right now. Gain uh, some of these cost more than one. Um, you deal 25% more damage to bosses. I haven't even encountered a boss yet. I haven't even encountered a place to spend my gold on. Zombies deal 15% more damage. Sure. Whoa. There's a lot going on here. I don't know if I want to do another full run. Because, um... Like, I don't know how much of this I have to do in order to get to a boss. But it feels like a lot. And, you know, like, not having dungeon layouts, like, I understand it, um, it's probably reduced a lot of dev time for sure. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, you know, criticize the game necessarily, but it definitely reduces the variety. And so I kind of feel like I'm doing the same thing over and over again. Um, that's generally okay, but like, you know, you have to kind of make it worth it, right? I think, um, right now, what, weirdly, I think there's not enough variety, or sorry, there's too much variety in the the relics I'm picking up. Like, my my melee attack feels pretty painfully weak. Like, it doesn't feel good. Um, and, uh, you know, like, enemies can kind of just, like, smack us around or, you know, it takes us a long time to kill some of these enemies. I wish there was more relics or more items that would just increase her damage. And maybe there are, but I keep getting hit with, like, kind of gimmick, uh, skill, like, skill-based things that are like, oh, when this thing happens, this thing happens. Which are fun, they're fine, uh, and they add a bit of, uh, flavor to your attacks and to the gameplay. But, um, also just doing more damage can be kind of nice, just like, this, this thing lets you do more damage. Oh, we're, right, hold on. I don't even know where... Oh, I see, there's, there's a totem over there. Okay, all right. I feel like also, just another, as long as I'm nitpicking, um, in these specific rooms, if I've completed one of the, the to totems or whatever, the, the, the pillars, just remove them, like, completely. Because, like, I, they, since they're all exactly the same color, like, they're all lit, 
it tells me that I need to complete them, and so I actually don't know which pillars I need to complete. I am gonna die. I'm not even gonna make it to like the third level. I am I am getting like actually frustrated with moving this pillar around. Okay. Alright. Yeah. I don't I really don't know what the point of having objects on there. You know, like the the game seems to think there's a purpose to it, but it, oh my god, I still took the damage. Okay, all right. This pillar room almost destroyed us. I guess they uh, they do light up green, so they they do tell you when they're done. But I don't know. My my brain reads them as like that's the green pillar that I need to complete. Range attacks get 20% bigger for every unit of distance they travel. You deal 40% more damage to bosses. I don't like that. Increases max energy by 10. Eh, I don't really care for any of these. Some of these relics just feel like kind of not great like i i have my decision my my choices between two two relics i'm not a huge fan of and and i just feel very like um choked for for power like i don't i don't have a lot of ability to keep up with demand all right that's gonna do it for necro bouncer i i think this is a, a pass for me Honestly, it kind of, it hits a lot of notes that I'm not a huge fan of. Uh, obviously, I'm not a huge fan of the me uh, meta progression that just kind of like improves your run. But I, that aside, like, I'm not going to criticize it for that because that is something that every game is doing. Uh, I'm not, I just feel like there's, there's not enough power, like relics that kind of improve your run. And there's not enough variety in the gameplay that to, to, to kind of make the run worth it. Um, and I just feel like I'm, I'm smacking, uh, you know, damaged sponges. Um, you know, I, I wish I could say, you know, if I'm going to say a lot of negative about this game, I guess I would like to say a few things positive. I do like the art style. Um, I do think the sound needs some extra mixing. There's another negative. Damn. Um, and for the most part, the combat does feel good. It just, it just needs a bit more to it, you know, like... Um, maybe have some extra animations going on, like, uh, you know, maybe as relics that give you extra stuff going on, or, like, I don't know, every time you hit an enemy, a lightning bolt thing happens, or something, like, give it some juice, like, that's, that's what, uh, animations, pickups, you know, that's the stuff that, that releases the dopamine, you know, um, that's, that's what's gonna make it more, uh, compelling when you, when you get power-ups that just stack and do more damage. Um, I've seen a few games that have relics that just like here this relic is a trade-off and is not very good and does not actually improve your run too much and then this relic is also or this item is also a trade-off so the player is choosing between two trade-offs and that's not really interesting it doesn't really you know do much for making the run more fun or more interesting it just makes it more I don't know like a slog but anyway, that's my two cents on Necrobouncer. Uh, how did you like it? Maybe maybe you could try the, the demo uh, if it's still available now and let me know if maybe I am just like completely wrong about everything I've said and, uh, and I would be open to hearing that. Anyway, if you enjoyed this all the same, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this and I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.